Hello, beloved. Welcome back to my channel. This is your priestess journey divine coming to you. We're doing September readings. I'm going to begin with our air signs. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius in that order. We're going to do Libra in this video. Gemini in the next upcoming video. And Aquarius will go down the line. Give you each your own time. And each your own messages. So let's dive right in. What's happening, Libras? What's going on? Love, finance, home, work, community. What does Spirit have to say to you? What should we be focusing on for this month of September? For our Libras. Our Justice card in the tarot deck. Bringing balance, alignment. Fairness to a situation that is something feeling commands. Okay, Libra. Spirit kind of quiet in the room. <laughs> ah, Libra. I'm not going to show you the cards because YouTube has some issues and these cards are a little spicy, but they're best read. So, what do we have, Libras? We have four cups. Oh, you've been in meditation, in isolation, constantly thinking about something that's heavy on your mind. Could be about a past love, a project, an endeavor. But you're bored, possibly a little disconnected from yourself and from others at this time, searching for reasons. A place to belong, a place to land on your feet, some stability, matters of the heart, issues going on at home with your finance, followed by the three of wands. It's time for preparation. Three of wands is the card of expansion, forward progress and movement. You've been staying in isolation. Meditating long enough, spirit needs you to focus on the future, to see the brighter picture, the bigger picture. When God says no, think bigger. Opportunities are coming your way to move forward. These opportunities may take you overseas, traveling, to wands, oh excuse me, to a swords. Difficult decisions. You'll be having to make some difficult decisions in the near future about travel, moving on, moving away, taking a new direction, creating a new space, setting some new goals, possibility of releasing the old intentions. That are not working for you anymore. You see, you're at a stalemate, deciding and thinking strategically before you move. And that is the right choice. Do not make any rush decisions. Do not make any hasty moves out of desperation. Take your time. Focus. Pro and cons. Use your intuition to search out positive, fruitful opportunities. Be careful of scams. Okay, Spirit. What can Libra be expecting for the rest of September? You have the higher offense and the Knight of Wands. You are a spiritualist. Highly connected to the universe. You're grounded in your religion, in your culture, in your spirituality. But Spirit wants you to focus on education, on learning, on training for your craft. What is it that you desire most? It's time to take action. 
you'll find that soon you'll become highly creative and energized, focused on your passion. The ability to create will spark a new energy and new vision within you. You will have to be fearless, adventurous, taking a leap of faith, knowing that you will not fall. Spirit will always catch you. At this moment, you may be facing moments of impulsivity, out of fear, inability to know which direction to go. But you are charming, Libra. And a lot of people are curious, interested in your ideas. Go for it. Decide. Make a choice. Choose a direction. To move and to not be successful is better than to not move and not be successful. Take a chance. Make a choice. Life is unpredictable. We can always see the future, but we can decide right now what we want in the moment. What is it that you want in the moment, Libra? That's how uh, you've gone through some traumatic endings. They've left you unsure of yourself, maybe a little un not confident about your ability to choose the right direction, the right path, but your life, your choices. Failures are just an opportunity to try again, a new opportunity, a new direction, a new way, excitement in the new. Let go of the past pain, let go of the past hurt. Those tower moments would bring you to new opportunities. Teach you your value and your self-worth. To try again is strong and confident and courageous, persevering through the storms. Test of faith. Can you pass the test of faith? How committed are you to your decisions? Do you stand on your truth and in your word? Is there longevity within you? Or you're not in it for the long haul? You may have to stick this one out. Put your everything into it. And know that eventually your dreams will come true. No such thing as time when you're dealing with the divine. It could be tomorrow, next week. Right around the corner. Spirit is actually be thankful for the small wings. Give gratitude and offering to your ancestors for bringing you out, for elevating you, for keeping you, for allowing you to try again, giving you another chance to get it right, to do it better than before. Come on now. Clearly, your spirit says you can have whatever you want. Simply make a wish. Be sincere. Be clear about what you want. Work and collaborate with the universe. That's symbolizing the will of fortune turning in your favor. Beginner's luck. Make a wish. Believe in the impossible dream. Don't give up. Don't give in to emotions, momentarily, momentary pain, temporary pain. Meant to distract you, deter you, move you off your game. You have air. Your sign is on the board. This is your confirmation, Libra. Rise above the smoke. Let it all go. 
until it dissipates. So the skies are clear again and you can see your way. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. Are you worried about a relationship that ended? Or are you worried about a relationship beginning again? Are you looking for love, marriage, commitment, partnership, union? Is that your wish? To replace that which was lost with better? Are you feeling lonely? You're not receiving the affection that you need. Have you gone through a divorce? Did that marriage come to an end? Leaving you in solitude, in hermit mode, healing, mending, heavy in your emotions, questions about why, what if, leaving the past behind, beloved. We're letting go and letting God move us into the new, new seasons of our lives. Harvest season is beginning. It's the next season up on the menu. What will you be calling in? It's time to let it go. It's in your past. It's behind you. You've walked away. You've chosen you. Spirit says, move on. There's nothing standing in your way. Nothing but open road and opportunity ahead of you. Move into the unseen. Trust the unknown. Make a wish. Be thankful that you dodged that bullet. That you survived that tower. As to you signing a contract, making a decision, this could be sent with a lawyer, getting some legal advice, making a decision, a final decision. Coffee represents the ancestors are with you all the way. But make that decision hard as it is, it is for the greater good and inevitable that if you do not, it will be done. And wouldn't you rather be the one that gets to decide your future? It could be regarding alimony, giving up property, in a divorce, who gets the home? Who gets the assets? Who gets the children? Signing contracts, making decisions, whether it's in love, marriage, or business, you decide. You decide, beloved. But make a decision to move on with your future. Faith, love, and hope are all you need. They're all you need. That is who God is. All you need. To see the brighter side of things. New love, new connections, new romance, a reunion. A final ending leading to better opportunity and love. Someone is admiring you. Someone is desiring and happy ending with you. Put it where it resonates. For some, a divorce ending to great beginnings. For some, it's way in the past. And it's time to step up and make a decision to walk into your new happy beginning. That's waiting for you.
start that new business, that new project. For the endings that which does not or no longer represents you, stimulates you, gives to you passionate, desired, loving, sensual love. Are you open to love? Do you want love? Time to unlock your heart. See, I love a lot how that heart is so guarded, so protected, but there's a hole in the fence. Someone wants to break through. Show you that love can be pure. Love can be real. Love can be for you. All lessons to teach you. Not to harm you. You've been through the worst. Now be open to the best. Don't be too guardy. A new twin flame. Starting from the ground up. New beginnings. Puppy love. Tender, pure, innocent. Childlike energy. If this is what you want, if this is what you wish for, if this is what you manifested, it's on the way. But you have to decide, are you in or are you out? Empress. I'm speaking to an empress energy. Someone who's loving, caring, giving, nurturing. A motherly energy. She's also fertile, abundant, prosperous. The ability to manifest the desires of her heart. She's a magician. She's powerful, confident, courageous, glowing, beautiful, desirable by many. You may have many options coming in. You will have to make a decision and choose what's right for you. But you have to be open to seeing what's in front of your face by letting go of what's behind your back. You've gone through a lot. You've been tested. But just over here, able to love, able to manifest, Working hard on your goals, your dreams. Get up. Life doesn't have to be boring. You don't have to be alone. There's love waiting for you. There's plenty of love out there in the world. If you desire it, say yes. They're going to pull a car from the Soul's Journey deck. That secret spirit is trying to tell your soul is most important to you this final month of, of summertime. You're probably going to harvest season. We'll be reaping from what we've sowed. What should we be focusing on? The energy of love, of forgiveness, of giving and receiving, of hope. Of joy. Life is about more than material gains. True joy comes from family, love, connections, affection, really feeling. Okay, Libra, we got denial. I acknowledge my fear. But I replace it with insight and awareness. It's okay to be afraid. It's okay to be guarded. It's okay to have healthy boundaries. It's okay to use your intuition and your discernment to ask questions. But acknowledge how you feel, where you're at, what you want. 
if you can really show up, if you're really ready, there's no rush. Loneliness is not a prelude to desperation. It should not be. Take your time. Heal yourself. Be ready to receive what you are ready to give. And don't be in denial about that pain that you are still mending. It's not a weakness. It's just like life ain't through you. <laughs> Followed by courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. I say, and do you? As you should. We're all here trying to survive. Trying to live a good life. Trying to be happy. To find love. Stable, committed, loyal, respectful, healing love. But that begins within. As within, so without. We receive that which we magnetically call in by the vibration, the frequency that we are on. If you want love, be love. If you want material gain, be someone who is committed working hard to gain that which they desire. Because abundance. <laughs> abundance is in the near future. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. God says you can manifest the desires of your heart, and that includes abundance in all areas of life. If you believe, you will receive. If you know, let it flow. You are a child of the divine, and it's your birthright to be happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise. You can have it all, Libra, if you ask, if you go get it. If you do not take no for an answer, if you let go of the past, the regret, the failures, the fear, the pain, those endings were necessary to elevate you to a better you. Not punishment, not karmic energy being sent from some evil entity. God telling you, I need you to know that you need me. And then together we can create a legacy. Focus. Get back in the game. Take your time. Be good to yourself. Celebrate the small wins. They lead to rewards and bigger victories. Gratitude, patience. That temperance energy. You can do a Libra. For the month of September, as we go into the fall season, we're focusing on getting, pulling our power back, taking our power back. Sapiens light and positivity, being courageous about going for what we want, being honest about what we need, trusting in the divine energy, knowing that you are loved, favored, and blessed right where you stand. And the only way to look is outward and onward to future progress. We're not looking behind. We're not worried about what we left behind. The past is an illusion, for it truly does not exist. Okay, Libra, I hope this message resonated with you. Your full month of September, what will you do? You can start by tapping that like button, giving me some support, giving and receiving, subscribing, if you are not a member of the family, 
on the channel and coming back for more exclusive Libra readings as we go into the end of 2023. It's bigger and better. You want to be in it to win it. Love donations, cash shop, PayPal. One on one, you have more questions, you need more answers, send me an email. I wish you all the love and happiness your heart and hands can hold. Leave, achieve, and receive. Until we meet again, beloved. You got this. I say.